Welcome. I'm Karen Richardson. I am the executive director of the Virginia Society for Technology and Education. And I know Meg Swecker always says she has the best job on the planet, but I'm sorry, it's actually me. Um, running, being part of this organization is just one of the joys of my life. And um, this opening session, and particularly this year, I think is a time that I have really looked forward to for a variety of reasons. But I think the biggest one is that VISTI celebrates its 30th anniversary of having an educational technology conference this year. <laughs> Who believes we were ever gonna get this old, right? But it's been such an exciting 30 years of watching technology grow. I made a comment in a session I did um, a couple of months ago that we're living in the Dick Tracy moment. And one of the young people in the audience looked at me and said, who's Dick Tracy? He was a student of mine, and you can imagine what his grade is going to be. Anyway, um, I'm only up here for just a minute to kick things off, but it is a thrill to have all of you here. I think this is one of the best conference programs we have ever put together. So if you're a presenter, give us a wave if you're presenting today. We... We could not do it without you being willing to share your expertise and enthusiasm with the rest of the um, participants in the conference. So take a good look at that schedule um, because there's hard choices to be made after this opening session ends. Um, I'm mostly here to kick things off. At the end, I'll come back with some announcements and some reminders and those sorts of things. But VISTI is run. We are a nonprofit. We are run by a board of directors. They are some of the most innovative leaders in the state. It is always exciting to have them uh, together in a room and listen to the things that they talk about. They're going to take a few minutes here this morning to talk a little... Oh, nope, sorry. And I even have the darn script in front of me. I printed it out this year. I missed something. So the Virginia Department of Education is well represented this year. They have a room. It's one of the Roanokes. I'm not going to guess. But Mark Saunders is here to bring a welcome from the Department of Education. I almost forgot you, Mark. Thank you, Karen. I don't really care to speak in front of people that much. It would have been fine if you had forgotten. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, um, good morning. Uh, I came to my uh, first VISTI conference here 19 years ago. I was, a, I was in the third year as a kindergarten teacher. and. Uh, Coming into the classroom, I was a career switcher. I'd been 10 years as an accountant and was coming into the classroom in my third year. And one thing I knew with my students from being in accounting was that it, in the workplace, you use technology. You, we, we were using computers. And uh, so I came to Vista. I remember coming down the stairs there to the, to the, uh, the vendor area and seeing that. And back then, we were talking, we would talk about, it was an exciting time in technology. And uh, we had, back then it was Windows 95, and uh, the Pentium One processor. I had a bank of, of five computers in my classroom in Hanover County with my students. And I was, we, in kindergarten you used centers, so we had our centers. And uh, it was an exciting time. And there's a saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Technology has changed. It's still an exciting time in, in technology. But one thing that hasn't changed is now you all, you have Makerspace, you have you know, the Arduino, you've got our, our Raspberry Pi, you've got all coding and all these different uh, technologies that you're using. But one thing that still has not changed, it is still the classroom teacher that is the one who's doing the work. They're the, the one in the trenches where the rubber meets the road, as they say. They're still the ones that, despite all the policy changes we make back in, in Richmond and, and the new innovations that are taking place and, and moving forward, it's still that classroom teacher that is there working with the students. But one thing that has changed now is we have you all. If you're an ITRT, a technology integrator, technology specialist, coordinator, whatever, role uh, your division gives you, uh, you help those teachers. And so I want to say on behalf of Dr. Stephen Staples, the other leadership and the employees at the Department of Education, thank you for all that you do for the students and the teachers in Virginia. Thank you.
We're so excited to be partnering with the Department of Education in a variety of ways, so it's exciting to have them here at the conference. Now I am going to turn it over to Becky Fisher, who is the chair of our board of directors, and Jay will have some things to tell us about VISTI in general. So Becky, take it away. Thanks, Mark, for talking about your first VISTI 22 years ago. How many of you went to a VISTI conference at the Curry School of Education? Is it just us now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did, Joe, because I think your mom was pregnant with you at some point, right? <laughs> How about Wintergreen? Anybody in here go to a VISTI conference at Wintergreen? Yeah, so we've absolutely, Joe, Joe raises his hand to me. That's absolutely some institutional knowledge. We've actually been, we, we've been doing this for a long time, and it's all in the, in the service of kids. I want to... Um, uh, introduce the, the board of directors. So board members, we're wearing the, the conference committee shirt today. So if you'd just go through the slide there. Katie Knapp, uh, Katie's on the board. Keith is in here somewhere. Nope, okay. Keep going there. Uh, Mike is here. Rod is here, I saw Rod, there you go. David Carter, you're in the room somewhere. All right. Michael George. There he is, Barb Gruber, Anita Harris, there's Anita, Ernie, I don't believe Ernie's here, and Terry, Terry's right there, and Karen Streeter, there's Karen, good morning, Jill, I saw Jill back there, Tim Stommer, it's up here, Meg, Meg's in the back. William is here somewhere. Okay. So the, the board of directors, we, have a, we actually have an election coming up. So if you're interested in getting involved in VISTI, there's a lot of ways of doing that. Number one is free membership for everybody. And I'm not just paying for it today. I'll pay for it any day. Uh, so anybody that's here, who, who's a first timer at VISTI in our 30 years? All right. You're, your challenge, your challenge is to go back and get everybody in your school to sign up for VISTI membership. There is no reason to not get that weekly information about what's going on in the landscape of education. No reason not to. That helps us also when we partner with Mark and we are able to say we've got 10 gazillion members and Mark's able to say VISTI's got 10 gazillion members, you know. That helps us with things. It helps us with vendors. It helps us in a lot of different ways. Plus, it helps that classroom teacher that Mark talked about because they find out about that webinar that we're doing that's free and happens when they're, after they've put their own children to bed at night so they can do that. So please do that. The board, the conference committee, if you're on the conference committee, raise your hands. These, these folks do, uh, that orange M&M is raising the hand, right? These folks do amazing work to make amazing opportunities available to Virginia's educators. And it is all, with very few exceptions, a volunteer organization. Karen is a paid employee, but she gives us, we, we fuss at her for working too much in the name of Virginia's educators. So on behalf of the board, on behalf of, of uh, the board, I'd like to welcome everybody to the conference, thank the conference committee for the hours and hours and hours that they put in to making this thing run so smoothly. And I would like to, to challenge everybody in here to get people in your school or in your, your sphere of influence to go ahead and sign up. They don't have to be in Virginia. Okay, Dean? They don't have to be in Virginia to be members. Uh, so, so sign up, help us out here. We've got a number of committees and councils also that the board operates or, or leads. Go ahead. So we've got the advocacy group chaired by Karen. Um, we've got education and outreach uh, chaired by William. The COSIN Council chaired by Barb, uh, because we do have two affiliations. We're affiliated with COSIN and we're affiliated with ISTE. And then we also have the virtual uh, learning environments, PLN. If you have a PLN that you would like to recommend that we start and you're interested in maybe being part of that, come to our membership meeting uh, it's today at 2.45, uh, and, and we will actually talk about what VISTI should be doing to help Virginia's teachers better. 
So what are the things that we should be talking about with Mark Saunders and the rest of the DOE folks? What are some things that we should be talking about with Craig and other folks at ISTE? What are some things that we should be talking about with folks at COSIN and how do we reach out and make sure that Virginia's educators are positioned to imagine the future? So I would like to introduce now Katie Knapp, who is the board's uh, chair for the awards committee. We've got a couple of exciting things that we want to share today and also I would encourage you to when you get that email in your inbox because you are a member and it's it's a awards are open elections are coming up all of those things participate this is your organization it's only as good as you are so give us ideas give us your time and I'm going to give you Katie Good morning and welcome to VISTE 2015. Let me get all my names here correct. Um, before we get started actually with our awards presentation, I would like to first introduce our award sponsor and friend of VISTE from SciComm Technologies, Sarah Virgin. Good morning everyone. This is actually my first VISTE conference. My company has sponsored many years, but it's my first and I'm really impressed, so thank you for having me. We're very honored to be this year's award sponsor. At SciComm Technologies, our mission is to create memorable and outstanding experiences in everything we do, and I assume that's not much different from what each of you strive to do in your classrooms every day. So for us, instead of teaching, our goal is to enable you and your schools with technology um, in your classrooms, including secure wireless access to the networks, collaboration tools, and secure physical access to facilities, and many other things. So by working together, we can create memorable experiences for your customers, the kids. I would like to mention that we have a very special guest joining us for the conference. Travis Allen from iSchool Initiative is partnering with us and will give two presentations about technology adoption. So we hope you'll join us, one at 9.45 this morning and one at 4 p.m. today. And also, Corey Wright from Cisco Meraki will join us to talk about a mobile device management solution that was designed for K-12 environments, so we hope to see you there as well. Again, we are honored to be this year's award sponsor. It's really great to be a part of honoring and recognizing these wonderful teachers. So on behalf of SciComm Technologies, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Sarah. Now on with our awards. This year, we present three awards to three very deserving VISTE members. The VISTE Outstanding Teacher, Outstanding Leader, and Innovative Educator Awards recognize and honor those who have demonstrated outstanding achievement and leadership in implementing technology to improve education. Awards recipients are selected by a committee from a pool of nominations submitted by VISTE members from across Virginia. This year's Outstanding Teacher Honoree has been described as an experienced teacher and instructional coach who inspires others to become confident in implementing 21st century instruction within their daily curriculum. He is an inspirational teacher leader who has a clear vision of 21st century teaching and learning and the skills to transform instruction. I am pleased to present to you the 2015 VISTE Outstanding Teacher from Henrico County Public Schools, Mr. Doug Saunders. nomination materials for this year's Outstanding Leader stated, I know she introduces her students to cutting edge educational applications such as augmented virtual reality and robotics. She came to my class as a regular speaker over the past summer where I taught an instructional technology class. Augmented and virtual reality based activities give our students a vision for where education can lead us if we seize the opportunities it provides. This is so critical for future teachers as it is too easy to think the classrooms of the future need to look like those of the past. 
With visionaries like this nominee at the helm, our teacher preparation programs can produce teachers who are truly preparing their students to live in the future. I am pleased to present to you the 2015 VISTI Outstanding Leader from Old Dominion University's Darden College of Education, Dr. Helen Crompton. and our third award. This year's Innovative Educator honoree is truly an innovator in our ranks. She has a passion for sharing virtual environments and was the innovator behind our division bringing Minecraft into the elementary classroom. She is a diehard virtual environments junkie. <laughs> One of her most recent accomplishments was securing a dedicated Minecraft server for her elementary school when many of the powers that be could not grasp the educational value of Minecraft, she was persistent and passionate in sharing her vision. Most importantly, she is always ready to jump in and answer any questions for those of us who just don't get it. I am pleased to present to you the 2015 VISTI Innovative Educator from Virginia Beach City Public Schools, Mrs. Kim Harrison. Please join me one last time in congratulating all three of our 2015 award winners. Thank you. Uh, as Becky mentioned, VISTI is an affiliate of the International Society for Technology and Education, our parent organization, and we're always excited when someone can come from that organization to bring greetings. I'm particularly excited this year because, don't tell the rest of them, but my favorite person from ISTE has been able to join us this year, so I'm pleased to introduce Craig Thibodeau. that. Um, congratulations, 30 years. That's amazing. Uh, it's just so happy for all of you and the accomplishments that you've achieved in those 30 years. Um, so I'm Chief External Relations Officer. Uh, I am out of our Washington office. I, I actually rather prefer to call it uh, the uh, Roslyn, Virginia office. Um, <laughs> And so we're, uh, it's, it's just such a pleasure for me to be here. I oversee our government relations program both at the national and the state level and our relationships uh, around the world. Uh, my wife says I have too many relations, but that's a whole other issue. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm glad to be here. Um, ISTE, can we go to the next slide? So ISTE, uh, 20,000 members, 77 affiliates. Uh, about 60 of those are within the United States, and the one I'm most proud to be with today is, is Visti. Uh, it's just to, to get outside the beltway, I can't tell you how great it is. <laughs> I asked Karen, I said, do I need to wear a tie? And she goes, are you kidding? Um, so anyway, uh, it, it's great to be here and uh, a real pleasure. We can go to the next slide. Um, this is our EdTech Hub. I'm going to do a couple commercials along the way. The EdTech Hub is an incredible wealth of information that I encourage all of you to, to take in. Uh, we also ask you to participate. We want your knowledge. We want your successes. We want your stories. Uh, so we invite you to participate. This is updated daily. It's an incredible wealth of information. Um, so. Uh, we get a lot, but we need a lot, and we uh, need everything we can from the community. And go to the next slide. ISTE Commons. ISTE is absolutely amazing. That while we have some 20,000 members, our larger community is about 100,000 people. 
and this has been incredibly important to the success of ISTE, and particularly, and now I'll get into the advocacy part of what we do, and I congratulate the work that Karen does and all of you do on behalf of good, sound public policy support, supporting digital learning. And we've been successful uh, only because of that community. Um, and so we'll go to the next slide. So here's a bunch of numbers. No, these are not my lottery winnings. Uh, no, it's not what Mark Zuckerberg's going to give us, because he better give us a whole lot more. Um, but the first two, a billion dollars, uh, pretty good chunk of money. Um, this is what is going to be finally voted on probably tomorrow as far as a reauthorization of ESEA. That billion dollars is going to go to the states for ed tech. And I have to tell you, there's, I love December because good things happen in December. It's been 15 years in reauthorizing this piece of legislation. And to get this sort of funding for ed tech is absolutely incredible. And it's due in part to some incredible coalition work in Washington, working with COSIN, working with school administrators, with school boards, working with all of you, all the letters that we sent. It really made a difference. Uh, so FY17, the money's going to be coming your way, and we look forward to supporting you in, in wise investments in that money. Um, please. A <laughs> billion dollars. A billion dollars out of Washington. And, I'll gladly tell some more details about that at another time. 1.5 billion. A year ago this week, uh, ISTE led the fight and that ultimately led to the increase in the $1.5 billion uh, annual increase for the E-rate program. Again, 15 years in the making without a significant increase. Maybe they're starting to get it in Washington. Uh, I'd like to think so, at least when it comes to education. Um, the next three, and I, and I cite these specifically because of the work that's being done by uh, the states, $2 billion. We worked with NiceGate, New York, and that was the bond issue that passed last year, uh, and it's building their infrastructure. $38 million. We worked with Massachusetts, our affiliate, and that's the money they secured to build their program, their ed tech program. And most recently, this past year, $22 million for the Nevada 21 program. Again, we're working with our Nevada affiliate. And again, all of this work could not be done without, at, without you guys trying to make a difference. And I'm just going to make this real quick, but I got a story I want to share with you folks about making a difference. Uh, I was a young kid, about 10 years old, and my dad was running for mayor of our small town in Oneida, New York, central New York. And I remember Halloween, I had to go out as Uncle Sam handing out buttons, vote for Gil. November election came around, and my dad didn't win, and I was crushed. And he came home, and he said, uh, son, you know, it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether you make a difference. And I want to tell you that the difference that you folks have made in your classrooms, in your school districts, the difference you can make in promoting sound public policy in an incredible time uh, for education is something I really have to, I just got to tell you, it's something that I've lived with through my entire career, and I encourage you to do the same. And I'm going to close uh, with uh, a quote. Um, this is from a senator in Florida. I guess my time's up. Uh, I mean, I'm from Washington. You really think I'm going to stay under three minutes? Um, Today's educators exploring teaching and learning with digital in a okay. I'll take a hint, you know, seriously. Um, I have this in large print, so. Uh, but I, this, this is a great quote, so I really, I really want to share this with you. Uh, this is from a sen Senator Legg in Florida. He made the statement back a few months ago. Today's educators exploring teaching and learning with digital innovation in their classrooms have an opportunity to serve as pioneers in evolving their profession. National, Hall of, Ho National Hockey League Hall of Famer Wayne Gritsky said, I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it's been. Education should be no different. So 
I leave those words with you. And one last side, slide, the last commercial. Uh, if you haven't been to an ISTE conference, you got to go. And that's all I have to say. And come to Denver at the end of June. So that's that. So I have one other responsibility that I'm very pleased to be a part of this morning, and it's the Make It Happen Award. Uh, the Making It Happen Award honors outstanding educators and leaders who demonstrate extraordinary commitment, leadership, courage, and persistence in improving digital learning opportunities for students. Since its inception in 1995, more than 500 educators from around the world have received the award. The spirit of the Making It Happen Award supports our vision of a world in which all learners thrive, achieve, and contribute. Award recipients are educators who apply available technology now, move forward and don't look back, see students as real people, teach through relationships, inspiring, encouraging, and nurturing, recognize that further change is necessary, but understand that it is a process, they realize that teacher empowerment is a key element to technology integration. They expect success, and they motivate through awareness and access to information. So with that, I believe John's going to come up. Thank you. Making it happen. Um, it's something that I got up here several years ago. Um, my friends came up in M&M costumes, which was a little embarrassing, I guess, if you were inside and couldn't find your way up here. But this has really been one of the, the greatest honors that I've received in my career as an educational technologist. Um, the only thing is, people always ask, why is IT in capital letters, and what does that mean? It. You kind of know folks in your circles, I'm sure, that are making a difference, that don't just swim with the school. They go out ahead, they try to innovate, and they're successful at doing it. And they are committed to making a difference in the lives of students. They are making it happen, whatever it may be. And of course, it stands for instructional technology. Um, when I think about the educators that I know here in Virginia, and I really thought hard about this because I knew I was gonna have to come up here and speak to you, um, I really thought, who in Virginia really is making it happen? Who has made a difference? And with the board of directors selecting two people today, I really couldn't think of any others that deserve it more. And so with that, I'm going to welcome up to the stage Anita Harris, who will be giving out our first Making It Happen Award for 2015. Good morning, VISTI members. Morning. You enjoying your bling? Hey, hello to my people back in the back. Um, I am so honored to be able to give this award. Uh, this person that is going to receive this award is someone, when I think about a visionary leader, when I think of someone who has been a catalyst for change, this person is one who has truly embodied that. For VISTI, for ISTI, for our state of Virginia. This person has also, um, over the years that I have known this person, has wrote grants that has been in the millions of dollars. Can I say that again? Millions of dollars for teachers and students. This person has also led so many conferences, sessions, so many initiatives just to make sure that students were the ones to receive good quality education, training, and to be able to do things, make things, take things. Yes, you might not know her as well as I do and some as others, but I'm sure you know people that know her. It is with my great honor that I introduce this year's Making It Happen winner, and one that has been a mentor for me for the last 10 years. Dr. Manorama Tolliver. <laughs> a 
and she just thought her son invited her here just to help him. So I have the pleasure of introducing the next Making It Happen Award winner, and I wish I had scripted things the way everyone else seemed to do, but I've been a little busy the last couple of days. Anyway, our next award winner is someone who I could read you her biography. Again, innovative. Uh, she comes from a county that really had some down times, um, but they never saw themselves as victims. They saw everything that happened as a challenge to make their county better. They have moved forward in amazing kinds of ways, and, and she's been one of the real innovators and leaders there. More importantly for me though, she's really been a personal friend and she's the kind of person when I email and say, I'm asking for another favor, she never says no. I think she has given up vacations for Visti. I think she has sometimes given up at the peril of her own relaxation. Um, and she just does amazing work for us as an organization, but more importantly, again, that theme of today for the students that her county serves. And I, and I think that's really where the making it happen people come around. So I am so excited and I hope we have managed to surprise her that our next Making It Happen Award is Janet Copenhaver from Henry County. A lot of lying and a little deception goes on to make this happen, but I'm hoping uh, because we're in good spirits, we get a dispensation. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're so happy. Can you take your picture? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Well, so, whoo, I love the opening session here. Um, I will mention once again that our awards are um, given by committee, but we rely particularly for the outstanding teacher, leader, and innovative educator on nominations from you. Those nominations open up generally about the August timeframe, um, and so please keep an eye on that. As Becky mentioned, if you get the newsletter, we'll always be announcing those deadlines in the newsletter, and, and you can keep up with it. But we need you to tell us who those people are. Now, I'm going to turn it over to uh, McGraw-Hill, and I believe Stuart Smith is here. McGraw-Hill has become a great partner of VISTI in a variety of ways. Please make sure you visit their booth, which is outside the exhibit hall near registration. I think I saw a popcorn maker and a shark floating around out there. McGraw-Hill has whatever it takes. <laughs> McGraw-Hill has graciously sponsored our keynote speaker for today, and so Stuart will be introducing him. Thank you again all for coming, and I will see you in about an hour.